Hello friends, this video depicts laparoscopic pancreatic necrosectomy in a 35 year old male patient with previous pigtail insertion and persistent high grade fever. On initial diagnostic laparoscopy, areas of fat necrosis were seen over the peritoneum and the omentum. Careful adhesiolysis was done to gain entry into the left upper quadrant of the abdomen, preventing bleeding as well as injury to the organs. Once the space was created and the ports were inserted, the further dissection was continued. The site of previous pigtail insertion was identified in the gastrocolic ligament, which was leading to the abscess cavity. With the pigtail as lead point, the abscess cavity was traced. And at one point, the pus was seen coming out. The opening in the gastrocolic ligament was carefully widened to gain access into the cavity. The entire liquid pus was aspirated carefully to prevent contamination to the remaining peritoneal cavity. The cavity was further widened once the liquid content has been completely aspirated the opening in the gastrocolic ligament was widened to gain access to the lesser sac while doing this Care has to be taken to prevent injury to the stomach and the colon. The cavity is carefully widened till the tail of the pancreas. The necrotic tissue is seen as black material lying in the cavity. You can see how close the stomach and the colon are and the gastrocolic ligament is shrunken. An endobag is placed over the left lobe of the liver. And now the cast of the necrotic pancreatic tissue is carefully removed by blunt dissection taking care to avoid bleeding. The aim is to empty the entire lesser sac of any solid or liquid necrotic material. Avoiding injury to the stomach or colon is very important. The necrosed pancreatic tissue is placed in the endobag. It is very important to clear the necrosed tissue from the tail region of the pancreas. A 
a 30 degree scope is very beneficial in wider visualization of the tail area of the pancreas the entire pancreatic tissue is now carefully placed into the endo bag All the necrotic tissue from the tail region is carefully removed. The cavity is also inspected for secondary cavities and the necrotic material is removed from all the secondary cavities also. Absolute hemostasis is achieved using bipolar energy source. After the entire necrotic material is removed, the remaining cavity is thoroughly irrigated with warm saline. The endo bag with the necrotic tissue is removed through one of the ports and two drains are placed in the lesser sac for irrigation in the post operative period. These are the port positions. This is the cast of the necrosed pancreatic tissue removed during this surgery. Thank you for watching.